I have a 21-year-old son and a 19-year-old son. Uh, neither of them have gone to college or seem to be going to college. One of them dropped out of high school. And that would have been a rather insane choice a generation ago, or almost unthinkable. But now, like, you know, I mean, I'm totally fine with it, but even my parents who, I mean, when, you know, they have PhDs. I mean, when I was growing up, like college came after high school. It was, it was just not an option to step out of that. And so even they totally understand the decision of my sons and they're a little uneasy about it, but they support it because the conventional educational system is just so dysfunctional. It's just, you can't ignore it or deny it now. The, that, you know, the enormous amounts of debt that you have to go into to get a degree that, that is increasingly worthless, the bureaucratic hoops you have to trot through to the, the tests, the examinations, the requirements, the, the you know, the, the huge classes taught by professors who are, can't possibly give you any personal attention, even if they wanted to. I mean, the whole enterprise is on life support. So uh, it, a lot of really bright young people that I run into, you know, it used to be that the really bright ones would go to Harvard. Now the really bright ones drop out and they look outside of the um, curriculum of life, the, the curriculum that's been offered to them for other ways to learn. So yeah, some of them piece together an education on the internet and you can get some things that way, but learning is much more than the acquisition of information. It requires doing, which is why apprenticeship is such a powerful way to learn. Trial and error, like, you know, getting your first video camera and trying to make films and learning the editing and making all these mistakes, that is a way to learn. And, and you can learn something that way, but it's much faster to learn in a community. And the community ideally would have masters and other apprentices. So how to piece that back together again from the wreckage of the institutions of mass education that we have today is, again, not a trivial enterprise. And I think that, but yeah, it is a piecing together from the splinters of the system as it, as it disintegrates, which still has maybe a long way to go. But even, well, not everybody. There's still people who still really believe in it, who believe that the way, the best way to develop your mind and your life is to get a good education and that a good education is well represented by the institutions of higher education that we recognize in our society. Like there are still people who believe that, but it is a belief that is hollowing out so many people who even who go into that system, they're not going into it because they really believe that they're going to get a fine education. They do go into it because they think they're going to get a good job when they come out or because they feel like there's no choice. There's no alternative. And in a way, they're right. I mean, if you don't go to college and instead you go to a PDC, permaculture design course, like, are you going to get like a well-paying job in permaculture? I mean, you probably won't get a well-paying job with your marketing degree from Penn State either, but you're even less likely to get a professionally compensated job doing Hugo culture on someone's organic farm. So <laughs> if you want to make your way in the conventional world, which is shriveling, but still dominant, then yeah, you're probably going to need to get a conventional education. If that world does not interest you very much, 
then a conventional education is going to seem unfit, repellent. You, know, you can try to push yourself through it, but you're going to be fighting yourself the whole time. And there are not well-established alternatives. There are some alternatives. Some of them have accreditation, but the really radical, innovative ones do not have accreditation. You have to piece them together yourself. And it's just something that, that's, that's forming right now, I think. I kind of envision this, this kind of distributed, maybe four-year program where you go to this, you know, eco-institute and that permaculture center and this nonviolent direct action training thing and this meditation center, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and, and this, you know, natural building thing. And like uh, these things kind of coalesce into a four-year education in the technologies of the story of interbeing. Um, but it doesn't quite exist yet. But maybe by raising the possibility, it will uh, come to us.